What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're going to be playing through the new comic today. Super glad that that got released. Um, you'll see I do have some progress on it. Uh, but that is because I was recording and my power went out. So <laughs> we are going to start this over again. Uh, one order of business I did want to say. I have been seeing the feedback about sometimes there being some mic uh, issues on some of my videos. Uh, I didn't usually hear it in my um, editing. But still, I watch the YouTube videos and I hear what you guys are hearing. So I'm trying to make some changes. I'm using a different microphone today. And I'm going to try some different audio rendering settings when I go to render the video. Uh, let me know if you guys hear any improvements or some of that stuff goes away. I'm trying to make some improvements with whatever little knowledge I know. Uh, but let's go ahead and start playing through this comic again. I didn't finish it. I think I was only about halfway through, so a lot of it will still be new. Um, a quick knee jerk from what I've seen so far. The uh, I hope most of these Blue Beetle cards are real. <laughs> they seem like a ton of fun. Alrighty, so we are Reach Infiltrator going against the Defense Commander. We will start things off just by summoning a whole bunch of boys. Maybe these aren't boys. I don't know what they are. They summon a tank. That probably kills one of my boys. Let's KO an enemy. We'll charge our leader. We'll deal some damage to their face. I really believe this first encounter is just kind of one of those power fantasy encounters. You're supposed to feel super strong and powerful. They get to summon a tank. And then they drop another tank. And then they drop another tank. Oh no, they don't drop another tank. Just one more tank. I think we will go roll out here. And we'll take out the two uh, recruits. And then we'll get some face zaps in. Because why not? For our double silver turn, we don't have a lot going on, unfortunately. It's going to deal some damage to my face. And that's all they've got. We will gladly weaken them. And might as well just keep zapping. The music in this comic is like beyond fire. With. Now that should mean this guy survives. Uh, yes, please. We will for sure KO all recruits. And I'm pretty sure that's just game. I don't think you're surviving 50 to the dome piece, my guy. Oh boy, I love it. My guy's firing, he doesn't even have anything to fire at. He's just like, brah, brah, brah. We have snuffed out the resistance, Kajai Ka. Oh, one thing I want to talk about too. Um, as the little bit I've seen from this Blue Beetle stuff in the comic, it seems really cool. I still haven't seen the movie yet and I don't know anything about Blue Beetle or their villains. Do you guys have any suggestions on whether it be comics, TV shows, movies, things that I should consume to kind of catch myself up, please do let me know. Uh, this week I started the Harley animated series on Max, and that thing is friggin' hilarious. Like, I can't believe nobody suggested this to me sooner. Uh, sorry, but we, are, we have Jamie. He is getting beat up in gym class. His homie Paco rolls up. You get to choose what to do before your friend's quinceanera. 
You can either, when you play Recruit, adjacent character will get plus one HP. That's weak. At the start of the game, draw two cards. That's okay. At the start of your hand, create a free Paco in hand. We want the Paco. Late of that day across town, the Brotherhood of Evil ransacking a factory. Are these Blue Beetle villains or are these just regular DC villains? I'm assuming they're Blue Beetle villains. Although this guy right here, or girl, girl looking thing. Was it Phobia? That thing looks cool as hell. That looks like an awesome villain. The other guys are kind of generic. So this is where Jamie's going to run into the Scarab that ran away from the previous planet. Warp is running with the Scarab in his backpack. He gets drop kicked in this villain battle. Coyote and Plasmus are going at it. And homie Jamie grabs the backpack and runs off. At which point, Brutal shoves out his shivs, stab the Scarab into Jamie, and they fuse and become homies. Thus, the Blue Beetle is born. And now we get to play our first game as the Blue Beetle. Let's see how this thing goes. What do we got? That Anarchy card back looks cool. I think I'm just gonna full ship this. Didn't get much better. We're just getting shivved right off the bat? And they're gonna play shoot randomly. They're just dumping their hand. All right. There's the Paco we generate. Let's just play Nightshade. Our enemy leaders have three charge, create two shivs in hand. We saw the shiv, it's like a medium upgraded battery. rank. And then Bone Crusher, whenever you play a neutral card or a, uh, a free card, charge Bone Crusher and he gets plus eight attack this turn. And then Kajai Da charges Blue Beetle and Blue Beetle deals three damage to an enemy recruit and you increase it whenever you play a gold recruit. And then things like Paco exist, which count as a gold recruit, which is really, really cool. Cyborg, let's try and get Brutal out of the way. I want all of these things to be cards. I want Bone Crusher to be a card or a leader. I want Brutal, I want everything. Give me all of it. Yeah, that's a waste of a Devil's Knight because this thing is getting zapped. Zapped. After you activate Blue Beetle, he gets plus five health. We currently deal three damage. We could just play Paco, and that would give us four damage, but, like, I don't think we need to, really, necessarily. We could just play Misfit. Three, six, eight. We cannot kill this guy this turn. Let's just kill him. I don't want to play this guy out yet. I feel like we can get some value out of him. We're gonna generate some shivs, which can definitely clean up a lot of our units because they are fairly weak. And they're gonna play good old Victor. Zazarino. Victor with the Zaza. Are they shaving my face, you psychopath? Let's play Huntress. And we'll bandage our little beetle buddy. I think I'm just gonna ignore Zaz for now and go face. We have Star Labs research, but that doesn't feel very good. This guy's gonna get the charge, right? And that means he gets plus eight attack this turn.
And then they have Amazo. Alright, they're gonna do some cleaning for me. How do you play a gold card charger leaders? Sure. We get another buff on Blue Beetle. After you activate him, draw a card. All right, so let's deal some damage to Amazo. That'll give us five health as well. We'll draw a non-free Paco. We'll play the free Paco just to kill Kite Man. And this one should be pretty donezo. Each player discards a card and draws a card. We lost our tear gas. They draw a shiv, but they're still going face. You sick individual. Guessing that means my girlfriend's home. So we're gonna finish off this encounter right here, and we're gonna pause for a hot second, and we will continue. All right, guys, promise, we're gonna finish this comic at some point. I swear. Jamie hears a voice in his head. Shakes it off and rushes to help Paco. And then they take flight. Is that the quinceanera? Jamie's best friend. Are they in love secretly? We got a rich aunt. Jamie shows up and the security guards want to defend the rich aunt. Is this the kind of thing where, um... Like, Jamie... The, the scarab wants to do evil, but... Jamie is like fights it and uses the powers for good. Is that kind of what Blue Beetle is? Right, he runs away so he doesn't hurt people. Jamie's trying to understand what the scarab is. Jamie then asks for the scarab to detach. The scarab says, no can do, buckaroo. And now Jamie is going to fight against the scarab. Let's see how that goes. the last encounter I finished before my power went out before. Alright, we were going to start just by poking that. The goal is anytime you kill one of these things, you deal 10 damage to the face to face. And you also remove a charge. lost my firepower card. That's annoying. Let me seek a card in my deck, I guess. That's bad. I guess we'll keep that, although I can't do anything this turn. I can at least activate my leader ability next turn. Eh. Ugh. That heals everything. I have to discard one card from this. Okay. Let's go fired up to get some firepower. We'll deal the damage to that thing because it deals AoE to everything. We'll fire up again. We now have a whole bunch of firepower this turn. We will deal damage here, because it'll poke both of those and then do AoE. 
have to deal seven to all of that. We'll summon Jamie's Courage, which, as long as it hits one of the modules, it does not hit the module. I'm going to say it would guarantee take one out, but we couldn't hit it. Okay, you an enemy recruit, give a module plus five. Get out of here. Hopefully we can kill that next turn. That'd be pretty sweet. Firepower plus three. So this will deal four to everything and draw us a card. And then this will die, which draws us three cards. Alrighty. I assume he has another, you know, KO recruit, heal something for five. Summon a module. All right, it's the heal module. And there's the KO recruit. All right, let's go Jamie's heart. It gives us firepower plus three, which means this will deal four damage to everything. This will deal six damage to something. So we can just do that and zap that thing down. And we'll deal 10 to the core. And if we summon Jamie's will, that should kill the repair module as well, taking this thing down to two. I think this should be a guaranteed win. Can I just hit face? I mean, resist alone should do it, right? Or at least I thought it would. I guess it doesn't matter, because this is going to hit that module and deal 10. So I don't end the game anyway. I definitely think that that should have dealt damage to everything and not just the modules. Regardless, we shall advance. The final push, Jamie's able to remove the Blue Beetle suit. Jamie's family finds him, but the Scarab is still there. He just managed to take the suit off. Mama finds him in the morning and thinks the Scarab is a gang tattoo. That's scarier than the Scarab itself, having Mama think mad at you. Now he needs to find Paco, because Paco's gone missing. After you activate Blue Beetle, enemy recruits get minus one. After you activate Blue Beetle, he gets plus three attack this turn. After you activate Blue Beetle, recruits in your hand get plus one, plus one. Let's go for uh, plus one, plus one to everything in hand. Bad Boy Squad found Paco, but Blue Beetle is going to step up to the plate and take on Silverback and Phobia. I really want Phobia in this game. I don't know anything about the character, I just think it looks so freaking cool. Let's see what our opening hand is. I like the blue beetle card. Let's put everything else back. I like this because we start with the free Paco in hand, which is a guaranteed way to activate that thing next or on turn three. We'll start with the Wayne Tech Engineer. It's a way to trigger Cyborg eventually. I'm gonna start with Warp, which summons a silver recruit from their deck and then teleports into the deck. And I have just about nothing to do. So uh, let's start whittling down Silverback. Hopefully when this teleports, um, it's something weak. Plasmus, give enemy leaders minus three health. That's a pretty strong card. They have another warp. into Hugo. 
That means I won't be activating Blue Beetle this turn either, which is really bad. Oh no, I can. So I can go Blue Beetle into Paco. Get an upgrade on Blue Beetle. The upgrade is he gets plus three attack this turn, which also means I can go hit, hit. Little buff recruits in my hand. I get three attacks, so I can take out Plasmus, which will hit both of my guys, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna save the gadgets for when Cyborg hits the board. I'm assuming they bounce back Blue Beetle to my hand. Yeah. I really want to kill Silverback quickly. That guy seems like a problem. They just keep getting warps. And Bane, apparently. Get out of here, man. I think that's a threat. I can't let that sit. Tear gas into another Paco. We're on double silver, unfortunately. So we're gonna Sonic Cannon that. And draw Mr. Miracle, which does not help us at all. We'll make that trade. We'll make that trade. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can afford to draw one more card. So we will pass for now. And we'll have to count on Blue Beetle to kill whatever warps out here. I don't think we have enough to deal with Grid. I'm gonna need like a built in new soon. Into a Deimos, that's rough. Into another Grid. Okay. Let's go Cyborg. Into... Paco. That will level up Blue Beetle, so I can zap that, which will give everything in my hand. Plus one, plus one. And we now have plus three attack this turn. It's tear gas. Into tear gas. Into, uh, guess we'll just batarang and trade. Okay, we're getting a bit closer. Silverback activates next turn, as well as Phobia. Summon a Silver Tyranny Recruit and give them plus two, plus two. Of course it's Bane, it's always Bane. All right, I think we will go for Blue Beetle. We'll activate this Blue Beetle ability. That's the buff we got. Deal one damage to each enemy recruit when you activate. I think I want Signal on the board. That'll deal one damage to the front. This'll deal one damage to everything, which should kill Metallo as well. does and then we can finally get around to dealing some damage to silverback honestly no matter what gets bounced back to hand here we're in really good shape blue beetle's health is a little low but um we have enough juice on board where i'm not super scared i assume they bounce back signal yeah to play out brick Let's 
hit that. Let's play out other cyborg. Get a buff on Beetle. What buff did I get? Deal one damage to everything again. Unfortunately, I can't do anything right now, but they also can't do anything right now. Anything they play in the front row gets just zapped a bunch. Yeah. That's not going to be very good for you. It's bandage. That'll bop bop. Take that out. And that should be lethal here. All right, that worked pretty well. Jamie tries to catch his breath after defeating the Brotherhood, but the Scarab Mask makes it hard to breathe. Paco is shocked to see Jamie under the armor. Did he just stab Paco? Did he kill him? What is happening? Brenda's rich aunt takes Jamie to the home office. Is the ant evil? What? What a twist. This is La Dama? Wow. This is gonna be fun. You never trust rich ants. It's always a trap. Got 27 health. Uh, I can't do all golds, I'm sorry. Give an enemy recruit minus two, minus one, draw a magical spell. Start with Bone Crusher. After you play neutral card, he gets plus one, plus one. Did that just say summon 10 magical spells in your deck that cost nothing? Is that what we're doing today? I can always just summon Paco and I'll be able to kill Bone Crusher before he becomes too much of a problem. I should have actually save these two guys for after this. This was a misplay. These guys could both be two fours right now if I wasn't bad. Don't be like me. Either way, hopefully we get a bunch of gadgets and we can do some work with that. I assume they debuff. Oh, they're gonna debuff Nightshade, okay. Hidden Talia. They have Hex. That's a little overkill. We draw a Batarang. Two Batarangs. We'll get a buff. Enemy recruits get minus one attack. Let's just play Misfit. Renee could potentially be good with that next turn. I 
Then play another Bone Crusher. We got Mark of Cain. Okay. Double Silver turn. Whenever Cyborg comes down, I have so many recruits ready, or uh, gadgets ready to go. Let's take out Bone Crusher before he gets too good. Let's take out Talia. Let's heal Jamie. I'm just going to get out of 5-5 five five here. And also just kind of like try and get stuff out of my hand. They're going to draw a free magical spell. I don't know which one it is. They have another Bone Crusher. Go away, dude. Blood Offering. That's going to buff Bone Crusher. That is also going to buff Bone Crusher. It's also going to buff Bone Crusher. That is also going to buff Bone Crusher. Holy Jesus. Alright, let's get out Cyborg. Deal da three damage to that guy. Let's deal one damage to that guy. I don't think we need to remove Aura. I don't think I need to do much of anything else right now. I think we're in an okay spot. Next turn we can double activate. They can kill Renee, but like, she did all we need her to do. They hit Cyborg instead of Renee? Let's get another buff. What is our buff? Draw a card? I don't know if I can draw a card, but let's zap that. I'm gonna buff the recruits in my hand. Not that I really have any recruits. Just take some damage. Honestly, I think we'll just replay Renee. Get some get her healed. And play out Paco just to get some stuff out of our hand. They have no cards, so like, what can they really do to us? They can activate. But like, it's gonna take one hell of a magical spell to get them out of this one. Brutal with ambush and shiv and create a shiv. Honestly, I think you could print this card like this. Maybe not with uh, end, it might wind up being start, but you know, something along those lines. Uh, let's get the win with the Wayne Tech Engineer. How many times do you think Wayne Tech Engineer has gotten lethal in this game, even including comics? The final swing, Jamie subdu uh, subdues La Dama, and he jets away. When Jamie returns home, Brenda's waiting for him. Paco disappeared, and he's worried sick. Is he a zombie? The scarab used to cure Paco has infected him. He is the blood beetle. What? Is that really how this comic goes? This sounds sick. His best, well, second best friend. Comic noted that very specifically. Second best friend is now a bad guy because you saved his life. That's rough.
Is there anywhere to save him? Or do you just have to kill your homie? I wonder what his ability is. I think we can keep most of this. Oh, yeah. After you play a gold card, he transforms into the blue beetle. Let's double check this guy's ability. Two, he gets plus six, six attack this turn and summons a reach scarab, which is an O3. Put this into your hand and transform it into the reach. It gets plus three attack. Bro, why you got these little dudes coming through? Let's hit that. I honestly think we do nothing right now. I know we could take a bunch of damage, but we have Silas. I deal three, right? Yeah. Ooh, the traumatized is a little rough. So we're going to play Jamie. And... I'm fine with it dealing three, so we're going to do this. Then we'll get out buffed Paco. Which will transform Jamie into the blue beetle. And then we'll play Silas, heal our face up. I think that's it for now. After Infiltrator Scarab attacks a leader, sacrifice it and summon the Reach in all of your empty spaces? Uh, I guess we're going to have to keep you from attacking our face then, huh? Get a random buff. What was it? Plus three attack whenever we activate. Okay. Um, Let's replace Silas, which will charge this, which allows us to hit that. Let's buff these guys again. More importantly, keep that from doing anything. And then we can hit face for 10. Plus six attack this turn, which I don't really care about. They can use their Infiltrator Scarab to trade with my 4-1 if they want. Oh. Oh, well, they actually managed to hit it! Wow. Good for you. Right, let's play Signal. First and foremost, because we will... Activate, or we'll charge. Now whenever I activate, we heal. So let's kill one of these guys. They're gonna draw cards from that, but that's fine. Let's play Brenda and draw some gold cards. Maybe? Just Mr. Terrific? That's fine. We'll take the face damage. Next turn we can activate Blue Beetle again because we can play Mr. Terrific, which should really help us just finish this game off. Especially if you're playing Infiltrator Scarabs. That means you ain't got nothing. Black Beetle? That is such a cool card. Put him in the top five cards in your deck. 
He gets plus five, plus five, becomes free, and loses this ability. That is so cool. Let's do one of those. Let's play Mr. Terrific over that. Let's zoop that guy down. That looks like an actual card we're gonna get too, because it doesn't have the red gem. I think red gems are like PV, PVE only cards. Things like, nope. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely a thing though. It's definitely a thing, I swear. We're gonna take out Blood Beetle, which I believe is also the card that you get for beating the comic. Jamie ruthlessly rains blows down on the Scarab, who was once his friend. But Blood Beetle is relentless. He realizes the only way is to somehow reach Paco. Deep within Blood Beetle, Paco reels and regains control before passing out. Jamie feels real bad for... I guess messing with everybody around him. Jamie resolves to use the Scarab's power for good. And now they are forever intertwined as the Blue Beetle. Thousand dual coins and two Blood Beetle cards. After a friendly gold recruit is KO'd on your turn, Blood Beetle gets plus three, plus three. Which, if Paco's a real card, this card already is really good. Because then if you trade Paco in, um, this becomes an 8-7 guard for silver, which is bonkers. Really depends on if all those cards are real cards. And to finish things off, let's go ahead and buy two packs and open them up. Like that. Now you can jump to the pack screen. Can we get lucky with these two packs? These two post-comic packs. Number one is a bust. Courage. Oh, never mind. I'll take a deluxe Nick Necro. That's pretty sweet. As far as non-ultimates go, that's a pretty cool one. And bad signal. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will give all of my thoughts on the this week's comic in the podcast when we record it this week. Uh, but spoiler alert, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.